guys, I'm Abby, and I'm here at General Butler State Resort Park. Earlier today, our park manager spoke with Shane Petty, Chief Ranger of Tennessee State Parks. They went over some hiking safety tips and also what to do if you get lost in the woods. Last weekend, I had a friend that got lost off a trail at a Tennessee State Park. I used to work at Tennessee State Parks and had the honor to work with Chief Ranger Shane Petty, who is known for his search and leadership skills. So I thought this might be a great time for us to find out some information from him that would help us before we head out on the trails at our Kentucky State Parks. Hello, Chief. Hey, girl. Hello. So what we are seeing since the pandemic hit last year is it really brought a lot of people outdoors who were previously not hikers. And obviously there's lots of benefits, physical, mental, emotional, to being out in nature. So it's a wonderful thing to see all these new faces in nature. But oftentimes what we're seeing is people are underprepared or not prepared at all and not sure what to expect when they get outdoors. So I guess I really have two questions for you. Um, number one, what are some things to do to prepare before heading out on a trail? And number two, then what happens if you're lost or injured on a trail? So um, I think you answered the first question is with the word prepare. Mm -hmm. Th that is just it is, you know, we, we just have to, if we're going to take on that responsibility to go out, we just have to take on that responsibility to make sure we are prepared. So for young kids, I do a class called 10 Essentials. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just some of the small things that you take in your backpack. So uh, and, and, and that can vary from age group to how long you're going to be out there. But it's basically just a backpack with the things that you've got to have with the essentials being food and water would be the mm -hmm. first thing. Um, you know, the logistics on how to either map compass GPS, you know, those type of issues. Um, clothing is the big one, mm -hmm. you know, especially this time of year, because, you know, you know you're waking up to cold, cold temperatures that we're not quite used to getting warm. But if you get lost and you started today at one o'clock and the temperature's 58, 60 degrees, it's going to be a different ball game tonight. And from after that, your 10 essentials kind of end up being your creature comforts, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's, um, uh, you know, a knife or a uh, um, having extra nylon and a poncho to make a emergency shelter if you needed to. Um, to water for purification. And, and a lot of that depends on where am I going? Am I going on a mile and a half day hike? Mm -hmm. Or people that end up going on a 14 mile hike and they've never done a 14 mile hike. <laughs> right. and, and, and something like that, you just need to plan that what if? What if I got lost? What if I had to spend the night out there? And, and for the first one is, you know, please, 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 we want people to know, tell somebody, where you're going, when you're going, when you expect to come back and and say, hey, if I don't call you by five o'clock this afternoon, uh, keep calling, keep calling. And if you don't, then call this number for this part and communicate um, and, and make sure is there a check in system at the park. Um, um, so, you know, because our panic as any park professional is at the end of the day, that car that's left in the parking lot. Oh, well. preparing you know just preparing 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 um and, and i would you know uh there's a statement in search management that you never plan a search alone mm -hmm. but that also goes with just don't go on a trail alone you know someone gets lost in the woods so what's the first thing you would tell them to do do not move yeah. so in, in my little tennis situ hug a tree class that i do for kids i do a hug a tree Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're basically trying to tell kids to hug a tree, stay right where you are. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's probably a harder thing for a grown up to do because your ego gets involved and you just feel I can make it out. Same thing with me. I, I, I'm same thing. And so, you know, I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want to be the person that gets lost. I don't want to be the person that sends everybody out there. And there are times when people do make them, you know, they, they get out. Right. But in just so many times, it's just happening more and more that they just get a little deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. So you just got to have that ability to realize, oh, my goodness, I'm lost. Mm -hmm. Not an emergency. Right. If I told somebody where I was and I'm not going to be at back a certain time, there's going to be a lot of folks coming looking for mm -hmm. me. Um, 
but just being prepared. Uh, we've been teaching a lot of classes in state parks on shelter building, survival, those type of things. So, uh, and it's nice to see folks out there taking those classes and being prepared. You know, you see a lot of that on, on television now, but uh, it's, it's pretty important uh, on those issues to be prepared uh, for that end of it. Absolutely. So to sum it up, be prepared. Thank you, Chief Ranger Shane Petty for Tennessee State Parks for joining us today. We really appreciate you sharing a little bit of knowledge of how we can stay safe when we head out on the trails. Here's Abby to give us a little more information. When you know where you're going and how long you'll be gone for, it helps you better prepare. So you're gonna want a lightweight backpack with plenty of cushion, some good straps to hold on to you so the backpack doesn't flop around a whole bunch, a water bladder, and then a good typical hiking day backpack is about 20 liters. If you don't have a water bladder like we talked about before, a good reusable water bottle or water filtration device will do. I pack high protein or sugary snacks. You wanna buy things that don't need a, a refrigerator or um, granola bars, uh, dried fruit. So you're also gonna wanna pack sunglasses, a hat that covers your ears and neck, sunscreen, make sure you pack layers. A rain protectant layer is good to have just in case and bright colors are good so you can stand out if you get lost. Gloves and an extra pair of socks just in case. Make sure you have things to illuminate the way. Make sure you have a trail map and a compass to help navigate. You can also use your cell phone to navigate, but be careful about the apps you use. Some of them don't show the terrain. You also need a basic first aid kit. We bought one pre-assembled and added a few things. You also need to think about shelter, matches for a fire, and a knife. Here at General Butler, we don't have to worry about bears, but a good thing to pack when you're going hiking is bear spray and a bell, bug spray, or bug bam. Now that you got your supplies ready, make sure you tell somebody where you're going and always try to bring a friend. When we started this video, it was still daylight. And now that the sun has gone down, it's about 10 to 15 degrees colder. If I was lost out in the woods, I'm glad that I have my gloves, my jacket, my bracelet with my compass and my whistle and my LED light so that hikers could find me or search and rescue. Thanks for tuning in to Kentucky State Parks Recreation Station. Y'all be careful.